In this tutorial, you will learn how to configure your Spring Boot application to log messages to a file. And to make your application log messages to a file, you will need to configure a couple of new configuration properties in your application properties file. So open up application properties file of your Spring Boot project and add the following configuration properties. The first one is logging.file.path equals, and then you will need to provide a path to your file. As a path to a file, I'll provide just a forward slash, and this will make my Spring Boot application to log messages to a file that will be created in the home folder of this project. The next property is logging.file.name, and with this property, we will need to provide a name of the file where the log messages will be written. And as a log file name, I will provide log.txt, like this. I'll also configure a specific login level that I want to use in my application. And the login level configuration property has the following format, login and then level dot, and then I'll need to provide a logger. And as a logger, I will use package name of this Spring Boot application. And the package name of this Spring Boot application is com apps developer block. And as a value of a login level, I will use debug. This can be also error, info, warn, or trace. All right, so now I will save my application properties file and I'm ready to run this application and see how it works. But before running this application, I will open a terminal window and I will list files in the home folder of this project. So right now I am in the home folder of this project. I will list files and I do not see a file that is called log.txt. Now I will start my application and this file should be created and some messages should be written to it. So I will start up this Spring Boot application. And now when my application is up and running, I will go back to my terminal window and I will list files. And here we go. Now I have a new file created with the name log.txt. If I open this file, I will see log messages. If you check other videos in my channel, or if you check the description of this video lesson, you'll find a link to other short Spring Boot tutorials like this one, and I hope you will find those video lessons helpful as well. And if you liked this video lesson, please do click on the like button, and please do subscribe to this channel to see other video tutorials on how to build RESTful web services and also microservices with Spring Framework.